Hello guys, hope you're all keeping well and welcome back to the channel. This is a video that I've been meaning to do for a little while and it's about how we find camping spots, whether they're wild or campsites, or basically just car parks or general park ups in both the UK and Europe when we're traveling around. There's a number of different things that we use to help us find these places. All of these things that I'm gonna show you today we've paid for and bought ourselves and I wouldn't recommend them unless you know I thought they were of use to you okay so let's start off with parking in the UK a lot of you guys I know aren't traveling around Europe at the moment because of the current situation which is perfectly understandable so how can you find park ups in the UK one of the best things you can get is this Brit stop book now this is very similar to the airs books in Europe that you've seen us talk about in the past primarily I think it started off as pub stopovers so most of the pubs in the UK, you know, if you go in there for a drink or an evening meal, they're quite happy to let you stay in the car park overnight for free. So most of the spots that you'll find in this book will be pubs. They've got maps in here as well, which show you the locations of all the stops all over the UK. And then in each of the sections, you'll see they've got, I'll show you some screenshots actually. I'll take some pictures and I'll put them up on the screen here. And then what you can see is it tells you the type of stop. Now they can be pub stops, they can be farm stops, they can just be car parks, which traditionally are called airs, which are okay for motorhomes and camper vans to park in. It will tell you what services are there. Some of the stops now are even museums or restaurants where the owners have set a couple of spaces aside in their car park for overnight stays. And it also tells you some things which you might want to look out for. Maybe like the site is sloping, uh, maybe it's not dog friendly or things like that. So it's a really handy guide to have. If You can almost use it like a bit of a get out of jail thing. You know, if you're stuck for somewhere to stay, you'll generally, you'll always find somewhere in here. And nine times out of ten, the parking overnight is for free. You're not really obliged to, you know, give anything back, but it's a good way of um keeping these spaces alive if you like for other people and putting some money back into the local community so i highly recommend that you get the brit stops book it's really good Okay, and the next one I want to talk about is the actual airs books. Very similar to the Brit Stops books, but these ones are Europe. And currently we've got books that cover Spain, Portugal, France, and all of the Netherlands. And then what you'll find in here is they have a separate pull-out map. Again, it shows all the locations on the map. And you'll see there's absolutely thousands of these all over Europe. Some are free, some you have to pay a small amount for, but these are airs. These are designated motorhome and camper van parking spots. They're areas that have been designed purely for camper vans and motorhomes to stay over. It's a car park usually with services, so you can either empty your grey water or empty your toilet, fill up with fresh water, and some even have electricity. So again, in the book, you'll see a few pictures of the location, You'll get a description of the air and you'll be able to see what services are available. It will give you a GPS location and it will also tell you whether it's a paid air or whether it's for free. And there's, like I say, there's absolutely thousands of these. And again, we use these as a bit of a fallback. We started off using them all the time. Some are not in ideal locations. They may be in the centre of a town. They may be in an industrial area, probably haven't got the very best of views. But some of these are absolutely fantastic and they're in brilliant locations. So if you are stuck for somewhere to stay, these are really good. You know, they're a safe place to stay. You're with other like-minded people, other camper vans, other motorhomes, and you do feel safe in these areas. So it's a, it's a good fallback and it's a good one to use. So again, I'll put the links on the screen here and I'll put the links in the description below of where you can buy these books. If you're thinking of traveling, I definitely recommend you get them.
Now the next thing we use to find parking spots, which we use quite a lot lately, are mobile phone apps. There are a number of these now, iOverlander, Camper Stops, but one that we find is really useful is the Park for Night app. And the main reason that we use this quite a lot is it has a wide range of different styles of stops that are pinpointed on the map. So it will have paid motorhome airs, free motorhome airs, motorhome airs with services, without services. Then it'll have farm stops um, or surrounded by nature. Um, it will also pinpoint on the map where you can get services like laundry or you can also search for just a specific thing. Say you want to empty your toilet, you can filter the search results to just give you black water waste disposal. So it's really handy and I recommend that you actually buy the app. I think it's about £9 for an annual subscription. It's money well spent because there's so much information on the Park for Night app and we found it really invaluable. And some of the best park ups we've had have been off that app and they've been the ones where you're surrounded by nature. There might not be any services there. It may just be um, a gravel car park in the middle of a forest or by a lake or by a river or something like that. But they're some of the most beautiful spots we've found. And also the working farms, we've found those to be fantastic as well. Some of the places like the vineyards in France and some of the fruit farms in Italy and, and olive groves, you know, they're fantastic places. And they have been some of the ones that have been provided with the best services as well. So in terms of shower facilities, toilets, waste and water facilities, the owners of those properties have provided first class services. And most of the time they don't expect any payment for that. Um, you know, all that they ask is you maybe buy some of their produce which is fantastic because you're getting local, home-produced, fresh produce. Um, so I can't think of a better way of, you know, travelling around Europe, meeting local people, sampling local produce, and getting a free camping spot, you know, in with the parking. So, yeah, it's definitely worth looking at. Get the Park for Night app. And then it's really important to leave reviews because one of the first things that we do when we're looking for a parking spot is we look at the reviews. We look at the recent reviews that other people have left and it gives you a really good gauge of what the current situation is like. Um, whether there's any restrictions on parking, whether there's any costs on parking, um, or even, you know, if there's been a recent sign put up saying there's been parkings prohibited. or So make sure that you leave a review as well. If you found the spot to be good and your review would help other people make use of that spot, then yeah, make sure that you leave reviews. Carrying on with using mobile devices and smartphones or tablets, another way that I find parking spots is just to use Google Maps and just do searches on Google Maps. So I'll just simply type in free car park. And you can do that anywhere around Europe and it will come up with, you know, free parking spaces or free car parks. Now, some of those will only allow you to park during the day. It will just be a car park. So don't expect to set up camp there. You know, respect the place. You can't put your awning out and get your chairs out. It's a car park at the end of the day. But if it's a free car park, then it may be helpful to you. And then providing that there aren't any restrictions in terms of overnight parking and there aren't any signs to say you can't park overnight or that camper vans are prohibited from parking there then generally in Europe it's fairly widely accepted that you can do an overnight stop in a free car park and as long as you're not taking the mickey and you're respecting the place and everything's inside your van you don't look as though you set up camp then usually the police don't mind an overnight stop so that's one way you can get around Europe with free car parks. The other thing I do is just turn on Google Satellite View. I zoom in to a location and I just scroll around on the screen until I see something of interest, whether it might be a lake or something like that. And then you may find there might be a dirt track down to a little small gravel area by the side of a lake or something like that. One thing you have to bear in mind is make sure that you're not on private property. Um, Generally, if it's a public area, you know, you should be okay. But 
beach car parks we've found like that. I've scrolled along the coastline until I find a nice stretch of beach. And then there's a couple of free car parks by the beach. And in most cases, um, you know, again, if you just respect the car park for what it is, you can get away with an overnight stop there. And some of those locations have been fantastic. So use Google to your own advantage. You know, we also search for uh, public toilets. You know, if you want to find a toilet, I know we've got a toilet in the van, but it's other things like that. Uh, laundries is another one. You can simply just type in laundry on Google Maps and it will bring up all the local laundrettes in the area. So that's really helpful. Google is like, you know, one of the things that we use quite a lot. Now, talking about services and laundry, one of the things that you will see in, in our videos previously is we use the Revolution outside laundry services where you've got washing machines and dryers. Some are in um, petrol station car parks or supermarket car parks. They're in various locations. There's over 5,000 locations across Europe. And if you go on the Revolution website, again, I'll put the link here and I'll put the links in the description below, they've got a location finder. So you type in your location and it will pull up all of the Revolution laundry sites in your location. A lot of them are in car park areas or petrol stations where you can park the van right next to it. You know, you can put your laundry in and you can get on with some work. You know, we do some editing or bits and pieces like that on the computer, answer all our social media questions and things like that while our laundry is being done. So that's a really good way of getting your laundry done while you're out and about in Europe. And lastly, what I want to talk about is camping etiquette. So if you're in these free parking spots and a lot of them are car parks or where you're surrounded by nature, please respect the area. If it's a free car park, then don't expect to set up camp. It is just a car park, so don't get your awning out, don't get your chairs out. Don't make it look as though you're literally on holiday. It's a car park. Use it as it's intended to be used. You know, respect the area for other people. And if you're surrounded by nature, then obviously the same applies. You know, leave no trace. Take all your rubbish with you. Don't leave a campfire. Uh, you know, don't set up a campfire on the ground. Make sure if you've got a barbecue or something like that, make sure it's like the one that we've got. It's off the ground. It's protected. It's got a metal tray underneath or better still some stone underneath or something like that. So you're not going to burn the grass there and leave a permanent mark. In some cases, it's acceptable to go to the toilet in the wild. It's got to be a good distance off any beaten trails and you've got to bury it if you're going to go to the toilet there. Don't leave any toilet paper, take the toilet paper with you. Basically, just, you know, leave low trace. Respect the area for others to use it. One thing that, you know, is going to stop all of these campsites being available is people abusing the places. So leave them how you would like to find them. And in that way, hopefully, more and more of these places will be available. It will be more acceptable. And all of us can enjoy camping all around Europe in the future. So there we go, guys. That's uh, half a dozen ways that you can find free camping spots and wild parking spots all around the UK and Europe while you're traveling around in your van, camper or motorhome. So I hope you find that to be useful to you. Again, I'll put all the links in the description below for all the things that I've shown you today. Everything that I've shown you today, we use regularly ourselves and I recommend that you get them. You know, it'd be really useful to you and I'm sure you'll find some absolutely amazing places like we have. So enjoy your camping, stay safe and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Those few clips that you've seen of stunning locations are going to be in our next videos. So please make sure that you subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and that way you won't miss the next videos. If you found that information to be useful to you, please hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends and family. Thanks for all your support. Cheers.